really gonna miss you, Kings Leon. Now when I go to a party, I can't say your name and expect no one to have heard of you. Yeah, those new Elvis Perkins tracks just blew me away. And, you know, that Kings of Leon album. Oh! Oh, um, you've heard of Kings of Leon. Oh, um, oh, oh, um, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, but I'm just Paul of Rec Radio, and this week Caleb Followell of Kings of Leon talks the new album, Come Around Sundown. Followell revealed that the title of the album came from John Anderson's song, Small Town, and that it reflects a theme of the nighttime and cocktails, saying that anything sounds better with cocktails, Justin Bieber even sounds better with cocktail. He even talked about the single Radioactive, saying that he had no idea that it would be the single, and he did not think that it would be very stadium-friendly, saying, I mess up on the first verse, I mess up on the second verse, I mean, my voice is off, so I really didn't think the label would want that as the single, but they wanted it first. Also, Caleb said that he hates hipsters. Okay, bye! No, honestly, this was an answer that I had to a question that I posed on the show a long time ago. Caleb told Spin how he regretted the mass popularity and the overexposure when he said that woman in mom jeans who never let me date her daughter, she likes my music. That's not cool. Do you think that Kings of Leon would have been better off in some smoky bar down south? Or do they deserve to be as exposed as they were? Because they're so fantastic. In an interview with MTV, Caleb talked a little bit about their success, saying... There was never a point in our career where we were like, oh man, I think we should scale it back, otherwise we're going to be popular. And anyone who acts like that, I think they're full of it. No one wants to not succeed in what they do. In video news, you can watch Ms. Zoe Deschanel and Ben Gibbert of the Postal Service and Death Cab for Cutie as they sing the national anthem and God Bless America, a baseball game. I don't know which baseball game, but you know... I'm, I'm so focused on the artist that I just, I didn't look at that part. Anyways, Ben Gibbard started off the evening singing, uh, the national anthem, and Zoe Deschanel did the, uh, the inning, some kind of inning, um, <laughs> singing God Bless America, oh, man, I should have checked that. It was very cool to see the married couple out on the field together, um, which is something that I've been waiting for. I always thought they might collab or something. Um, and it's a very nice video to watch because they're both uh, two of my favorite people in the world. Speaking of covers, Adam Lambert covered Enter Sandman of Metallica at one of his recent concerts. It was a birthday request of somebody in the venue, so I'm sure they would have been very happy and that would have been one of the best birthday friends ever. And GMT, they were just on Kimmel recently singing uh, congratulations and their oldie, The Handshake. We're going to watch this video at all, at least see it for um, Andrew's spectacular hat. One of the only bands that I've ever seen to wear capes on stage. The, I mean, it, it only adds to why I think they're so awesome. Speaking of MGMT again, <laughs> there is an upcoming documentary being made on the band. It's a feature by the Blog Attack, and we don't know much about it besides what we see from a trailer, which is them uh, either practicing or recording some of their recent songs off of their album, Congratulations. If you go in the crotch bar, you can go see how you can win tickets to the Bursa Merge and and Ann Arbor concert, and you can also see some of their dates. I got a new band to introduce you guys. They are an electro-punk band, and they are touring, at least East Coast. Uh, maybe you'll see a little bit more of them on the show, but they are really awesome, and I, I get so excited when I find a band that I'm like, wow, we don't have They're called Punk Witch, and here is a single, Buy One, Get One Day. Let this body fall down. Darkness, Oh Hell, EP. Oh, that's funny. I like that. And the thermals. Never listen to me. Getting ready for Halloween. It's almost here. Are you guys excited? I know you already told me what you're going to be for Halloween. So, in the comments below, tell me what your favorite candy is. So, King Leon, I hear you don't like hipsters anymore. 
that's okay. You don't really fit in with my Neo Folk collection, my Electro Indie catalog, or even my sub-psych punk. <laughs>